Hi, my name is Alonso Morales and I am 18 years old. Today I will be reading On Leaving Newstead Abbey by George Gordon Byron. Hope you enjoy. Why dost thou build the hall, son of the winged days? Thou lookest from thy tower to thee. Yet a few years, and the blast of the desert comes. It howls in thy empty court. Through thy battlements, Newstead, the hollow winds whistle. Thou the hall of my fathers art gone to decay. In thy once smiling garden, the hemlock and thistle have choked up the rose which late bloomed in the way. Of the mail-covered barons who proudly to battle led their vassals from Europe to Palestine's pain. The escutcheon and shield, which with every blast rattle, are the only sad visages now that remain. No more doth old Robert, with harp stringing numbers, raise a flame in the breast for the war laurel wreath. Near Ascalon's towers, John of Horstan slumbers. Unnerved is the hand of his minstrel by death. Paul and Hubert too sleep in the valley of Cressy. For the safety of Edward and England they fell. My fathers, the tears of your country redress thee. How you fought, how you died. Still her annals can tell. On Marston with Rupert, against traitors contending. Four brothers enriched with their blood the bleak field for the rights of a monarch their country defending till death their attachment to royalty sealed shades of heroes farewell your descendant departing from the seat of his ancestors bids you adieu abroad or at home your remembrance imparting new courage he'll think upon glory and you through a tear dim his eye at this sad separation Tis nature, not fate, that excites his regret. Far distant he goes, with the same emulation. This is the fame of his fathers he never can forget. That fame and that memory still will he cherish. He vows that he never will disgrace your renown. Like you will he live, or like you will he perish. When decayed, may he mingle his dust with your own. Uh, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the story. Have a great rest of your day.